Good day! In this training video, we will take a closer look at financial reports, specifically the trial balance, profit and loss statement and balance sheet. The trial balance summary report is a period end report which displays the account balances for the selected period. The report includes the beginning and ending balances as well as the periods, total debits and credits. To access the trial balance report, let's navigate to the finance module and in the report section, select trial balance summary. Complete the report parameters tab by selecting the applicable company, branch, ledger and financial period. Both the ledger and financial period fields are mandatory. By default, the actual ledger is selected. Change this field if you want to view the trial balance report for a different ledger. The list of periods available for selection in the financial period field contains all the periods defined in the system, including the closed ones. By default, the current financial period is selected. The suppressed zero balances checkbox can be ticked to remove from the report accounts that have all zero values. After making the required selections, run the report. Take note that accounts are grouped by their types, assets, liabilities, income and expenses. These groups of accounts are listed in the order specified on the general ledger preferences form and the chart of accounts order. Accounts of the same type are listed in alphanumeric order. The sign of the trial balance, whether normal or reversed, is indicated on the general ledger preferences form, and so is the year-to-date net income and retained earnings accounts. The trial balance summary report is an interactive report, and from the account number field, the user can drill down to the trial balance detail of each account, which will open in a new tab. This report displays the transactions for the selected account, including further drill down capabilities on the batch number and reference number fields. The profit and loss statement, which is synonymous with the income statement, contains summarized information about revenue and expenses and displays the company's profits and losses for the specified period in period to date and year to date amounts. In MOB Advanced, the financial statements, including the balance sheet and profit and loss statements, are accessible from the Finance module in the Financial Statement section. From here, let's open the profit and loss statement. On the Report Parameters tab, indicate the start and end branch, the ledger, financial period and the start and end sub-account fields you would like to view the P&L statement for. All of these selection fields are mandatory. You can also save your selections as a template to use next time. Now we can run the report. The report components are made out of revenue, cost of goods sold or COX, gross profit, operating expenses, operating income and net profit. Once again for this report we can click on any of the hyperlinks to drill down into more detailed reports and screens. Standard in MOB Advanced is also the Profit and Loss Comparative Report, where the total amounts for the previous year are shown for comparison, and the Profit and Loss Quarterly Report, which displays the company's profits and losses in year-to-date amounts for each quarter. The Balance Sheet reports a business's assets, liabilities and equity at a specific point in time. Still, in the Financial Statement section, select Balance Sheet and complete the applicable company. Start branch, ledger and financial period fields. Once completed, run the report from the Run Report button on the Form Toolbar. The balance sheet illustrates the business's net worth and drill down capabilities on this report is also available for all the hyperlink fields. Like all other reports in MYB Advanced, from here the report can be printed, sent or exported. Standard in MOB Advanced is also the balance sheet comparative report, which includes the balance sheet values for the previous year and indicates the variance in years in dollar and percentage value. And this brings us to the end of our overview of financial statements. Please let us know with your feedback and join us again for more as we explore MOB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.